It is Sunday. It is 10 a.m., which means it's time to rate your guys' teams. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out MMOEXP. There is a link down below, and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. As you can tell, my voice is gone. I don't know what's going on. I know what you're thinking. I've been ill about four times in the last month. I don't know what's going on with me. Maybe I need to go and get it myself checked out, but... My voice has gone. Apart from that, I feel completely fine. I just can't speak and I'm all bunged up and whatnot. I think it's just winter. Um, but we obviously are bringing back our rated teams, like I said last week. So here we go. We're going to start off with Brivet's team. He is running a 424 with Mbappe. The new Stoichkov, which that card looks fantastic. Um, Alfonso Davies, the new Fafana. Uh, Gwen Duzzi. I like this team. I'm assuming it's a narrow with Stoichkov, Mbappe, and Keane as the front three. Then Alfonso Davies may maybe playing as a centre mid. Could also potentially be like a 4-2-4. Maybe Alfonso Davies playing out wide in a 4-2-4. Uh, sorry, a 4 2 2 sorry. Um, Alfonso Davies playing out wide. Stoichkov maybe playing out wide. Fafana and Gwendouzi's DMs. Um, either way, I think it's pretty decent. I like it. Um, I see you've got players on the bench as well. You've got Enzo, you've got Acuna, you've got Orsic. I like it. A lot of difference could be made here, changing a few players. I'm doing I-rated teams a bit different to previous years. With how chemistry works and stuff like that, I'm not really going to sit here and tell you how to change your whole team up because realistically, it's not going to help because you're going to struggle like mad with a new chemistry system. I'm just going to basically rate people's teams and see what they're looking like. Um, Pavard of Meccano at the back is a big W. If that of Meccano does get the upgrade, it's going to look like a very nice card. Um, obviously, this goes out on Sunday, which is World Cup final day. If the World Cup final has not already happened, let me know down below your predictions and leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy. I am going... My brain says France. My heart says Messi. I am going to say Messi. Argentina on penalties. One all in the game. Argentina on penalties. That's my guess. I'm going to say that. And I think Messi gets a goal. Uh, Joel's team next. Um, this is what he's currently rocking with. Oh, Oh, okay. Uh, you got the new Bayel. Well, I say no, he's been out for a little while. This team is really cool. You got the Benfica um, thing going on there with Enzo, with Jan Mario, with Gonzalo Ramos. That's really cool. Um, I like the back line as well. You've got Tamori and Kier. Uh, I like Vlahovic. Different team. I like this because it's a, a couple of different teams here that uh, you don't see a whole lot of people running Zimmerman, for example, or uh, the Pasilic card. I think that's Pasilic. Um, or Bale, even. I like that. It's different. It's cool. Uh, I like that a lot. LFC's team now. He's running Flashback Messi. Look, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your team, but if it were me, I'd try and get Flashback Ronaldo in this team. I know he's 500k. That card is ridiculous. If you haven't checked out yesterday's video, go and watch it. Basically, I took Flashback R Ronaldo... Team of the Tournament Messi and Team of the Tournament Mbappe into foot champions and had a whale of a time. Um, go check it out. But Flashback Ronaldo is actually nuts. He was absolutely, utterly insane. If you can get him in there for the nostalgia, Flashback Messi, Flashback Ronaldo, I just think that would be cool, to be honest. I don't know how you get it in, but I think it would be cool. I also like the left-back and right-back. I run the exact same left-back and right-back on my RTG. Very cool. I like that. Frimpong and uh, Hutton Adoy are class. I'm sorry I'm not checking out a lot of these teams. The reason why I'm not... I, I'm not trying to flex here at all. I'm, a, I'm partnered with Samsung, if you guys didn't know. Very lucky. Um, I have a insane Samsung monitor, which means that these are tiny. I genuinely barely see them um, because their whole screen does some kind of thing with the pixels and stuff. I don't know, but it's, it's genuinely difficult to see. Uh, we've got Squish's team next. Oh, a 352. I like that. That's different. Uh, Alawaran and Ribri is your uh, wide mids. Cruyff, Zizou, Griezmann, nice, Eder Militao, Alaba, Araujo, not bad, not bad team at all, sir. Um, Tablu, what's Tablu rocking? He's rocking a 4-3-3, I'm guessing this is in-game, right? Oh, no, this is the bench of reserves. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good team as well, I'm guessing, I'm guessing this runs a narrow. Maybe you just want a 4-3-3, maybe, uh, a false nine, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's a good team, though. Swap Marquinhos and Alaba, please. Play the left foot on the left, the right foot on the right. Just for my personal um, uh, OCD, I guess. Uh, we are looking at the next team now. Got Royce and Webapp has not missed a game for the club since. Really? 507 games with gold Marco Royce. I tell you what. 
Hats off to you, sir. I respect that a lot. This is what Ultimate Team is all about, in my opinion. It's about just having fun. It's about using your favorite players. I think year on year, we get caught in this trap of finding the most meta players, getting 20 wins a weekend on foot champions, complaining about bad rewards, demanding that we pack every single good card in every single pack. And in reality, it's about having fun. It's about using some of your favorite players, building different squads. And for me... Like, that's what it's all about. So I respect that a lot, mate. I really do. That being said, if you want advice, go buy all the meta sweaty players. Um, <laughs> moving on to Moz Plays team. You play a 4 2 3 1 or a 4 4 2 brackets 2. Right. Oh, part of G Sung, I'm guessing, plays as a centre mid in the 4 4 2 and a CDM in the 4 2 3 1 then. Uh, interesting. How is that Morientes card? How is Ake as well? Ake looks good. How is Ake? That's a cool team, though. I like it. Got a little Dutch persuasion in there as well. Uh, we have got Trind Awards team. Uh, we're rocking Smolarek, Kewl. This team could do with a bit of work. Uh, at this stage of the game, this this team could definitely do with a bit of work. Um, you know, I think the golds on the right-hand side accumulate to about 30k. Um, no, but look, it's not bad. I think over time, you're going to gradually build up a decent team here. Um, maybe do some swaps. If Winter Wildcard swaps come out, maybe you get something good from that. Um, that's probably my best advice. Chani thinks he's funny. Uh, all seriousness, hopefully, Chani, if you do watch this video... I really hope this team comes comes good for you. I hope you win, bro. I'm sick and tired of being the only one out of me, you and Neptune have won a division. Hopefully you win, brother. Hopefully you win. Um, Alvarez season. First team, uh, he's got Morientes, Alawara, and Blahovic. Okay, so his second is in my bench and third is in game. So you're running the 4 1 2 and 2. Alawara and at Cam. Okay, makes sense. Swap Morientes and Blahovic, please. I beg. Uh, you want the right foot on the right, the left foot on the left, in my opinion. Not only for the cross uh, body shots, which are the majority of chances that you get in this game, but also for the outside of the boot shots as well, as they're still super OP. Travellers are still ridiculously OP. Swap those over, really easy change to make. Um, but yeah, the team's looking pretty spicy, man. It really is. Um, we got TBK's team now, fully untradeable. Oof. Oh, nine, Eto and Carlos Alberto. Nice and tradable icons. Marquisio, Joe Cole, and Brolin. Nice, man. This team is... That is a spicy team. That is a very spicy team. I like it a lot. Henry's got 200k for improvements, and everything's untradeable. Again, it's so difficult. I would say maybe just upgrade to Inform Tamori if you can afford it. Other than that, it's so difficult to make improvements because of how intricate the chemistry system is this year. Like, I could say take out Carl Walker for Dallo, and I think that would mess up chemistry completely. So, yeah, very difficult. Um... GG on Untradable Eusebio and Puskas, by the way. Absolutely insane. Kimo and Aish is really good too. Uh, nice team. Nice team. we got Shaw's team next. Uh, he's got World Cup icon Vieira. That is a, a big, big card right there. He is very good. Stojkov solid as well. Correa, if he gets an upgrade, will be nuts. I was not a big fan. And, and right, you're about to... Let me, let me quickly preface this, right? Lissandro Martinez is my favorite player in real life at the moment. I absolutely love him to bits. However, I'm not going to lie to you, I did not like his Welker Phenom card at all. He just does not feel good in game. I really did not enjoy him. Bar that, I still love him to bits. So, that's the only thing in this team I think is a weak point. I don't know who you can improve him with, though. Because, again, for chemistry, I think that he works perfectly. He slots in there. Unique Riggers thinks he's hilarious. It's my River Plate team. Yeah, you're funny, aren't you? You're you're so funny. Shut up. Um, we've got Nerik's team now. Okay. All right, Nerik's got a big boy team. He's a Twitch streamer, clearly, so he's got a big boy team. He's got to have a big boy team if you stream on Twitch. Um, that's a nice team, though. I like your team, bro. Uh, I like the Cafu choice. A very, very niche one. Not a lot of people pick Cafu. I respect it. That's your right back now for the rest of the game. He will be incredible for the rest of the game. Lucio, solid. Park G, Sung, absolutely love him to bits. Uh, Van Persie's good as well. Van Persie ripped me a new one in champs. He really did. My hasty screenshot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. James, let's have a look at your team, brother. Okay, Enzo and, Lo and Lissandro at DM. You've got Kostic and Chiesa. You've got Morientes and Gonzalo Ramos. Upgrade Dallo. Get rid of Marquez. That's my improvements, to be honest. Right, moving on. Um, TC Caves team. Uh, he's got Ronaldo. Let's go. He's got Red Neymar. He's got the Acuna at left mid. He's got Eusebio. How are you getting? So you, oh, you're using Patricio. Oh, oh, no. This is not good. 
Because Patricio expires in 18 days. What's the plan then? Maybe getting Dallo at right back to get him on full game. I love the Pavard of Meccano link, though. That's really, really cool, in my opinion. I like that a lot. I'm a big fan of that. Um, plays the same in game. Uh, Bufal is the single greatest card in the game, by the way. Wait, really? Bufal. Let me look at this card on Footbin. <coughs> I know he uh, he got four. Did he have five star? Five star? No, he has four star skills, five star weak foot. 90 pace, 95 dribbling. Well, I mean, the card looks really good, to be fair. Single best card in the game. Fair enough. I respect it. I respect it. Different, for sure. I like the ones to watch Rudiger and the ones to watch Kessier. Um, I like that. Akshi Shandell is running Path to Glory Griezmann. That card's phenomenal now. Hinkapi is a decent one as well. Um, yeah, this team is this team is solid. That's a solid team. I like that team. Uh, I like that team a lot. Uh, all incredible. 4 triple 2 or a 4 2 3 winning game. 120k for upgrades if needed. These kind of teams are fully untradeable. I don't recommend upgrades. I'd say just keep running the game how you run it. It's clear you do a lot of pack SBCs. For example, the Icon Packs, the Hero Packs, um, and whatnot. And Winter Wildcard swaps around the corner as well. So I would say just keep running it how you run it. Do the odd Icon Pack if you can afford it. Do the Hero Pack if you can afford it. Run it untradeable. I think it's a lot of fun that way. That's what I would do personally. South Union. Uh, or Drippy United. Not got Mignon yet, but hoping to get him in tradable. Almost done storage golf. Plays in game how it starts. So, right. But what do, what do you gain storage golf for? Who are you replacing with storage golf? I'm guessing maybe one of the strikers. I think Butra looks incredible. I think Eto looks really good for this game. I mean, it's a good team. I love the United aspect. Absolutely love it to bits. I really do. But I don't understand who storage golf is going to replace here. I really don't. Uh, Lucas is team next. Uh, we're running Eusebio, Eto, Dino, Seedorf, Sien, Romero, Perisic, a right, excuse me, a right back. I like that a lot. Sorry, my, my, my voice is, I'm really struggling with this. Uh, I like that team a lot. We'll do a few more, uh, because honestly, it is, my throat feels like I've, I've swallowed sandpaper. Um, oh, best at left wing, Voller. I've not seen a lot of bests this year. I really haven't. Uh, really good icon though. I need to use him. Um, in, in every FIFA so far, he's been class. So I'm guessing he'll be class again this year. Uh, then we have got Jackson's team. We'll do the last four here. Uh, that Keen card looks like a hidden gem. Rarely see it. He looks insane. Bonucci, Bakayo Saka. Uh, solid team again. I really like the untradeable Pele as well. Um, then we've got Josh and Milo to end it. So Josh's team, Stoichkov and Alawaren. Seeing a lot of this Stoichkov. I respect it. Really good card. Uh, of Meccano, Leroy Zane, nice. And then the last team, all untradeable, 4 2 3 1 or 4 2 2 in game. What? You've got the road to the World Cup, 93 Mbappe untradeable. What? Fair play. Cannot argue with that. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. You got Aguel as well. Unfortunately, did not get the upgrade. Um, wow. Fair play, man. That is absolutely nuts. And that's where I'm going to end it. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll link in the description. Every Saturday, I tweet out when we're looking for teams. So that is when to get involved for IRA teams. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you lads later.